What's up everybody? Heading to work. It's a beautiful day. Got you in my car, so it might be a little shaky. If it is, I apologize. I hopefully will be able to uh, get it squared away with the when I edit it. But anyways, I digress. So this video is going off of something that uh, Hooples was talking about in a video that he uh, posted. Talking about up there in Toronto where he is. Uh, in the hospital that they're that he works in, they are preparing for uh, community spread uh, in terms of the coronavirus. Now, community spread, if the way I understand it is, and please correct me if I am wrong, is where a person gets the virus but has no known contact with someone that has the virus. Uh, for example, here in Indiana, we just had our two uh, first couple cases identified here. And both of those link directly back to a medical conference up in Boston, where I believe a dozen or so people have now been confirmed uh, with the coronavirus. But what we had here that was just announced uh, last night, this morning, sometime, that we had our first community acquired uh, illness confirmed of a little kid. Uh, I don't know exactly how old the kid is. Uh, they are in elementary school. Uh, so here uh, in Indiana, where I'm at, elementary schools run normally kindergarten through fifth grade. So that would be basically five to 11 uh, age range. This child has no known contact with anybody who has the virus. Obviously not going to a medical conference in Boston. Uh, so that is very concerning. Uh, now their family is on self-quarantine, blah, blah, blah. The entire school system that the kid goes to is closed for today. Uh, basically, so I would guess that the administration can plan out their response accordingly. But the kid's school is now actually going to be closed for two weeks to do a deep clean and in actuality they're going to be closed for a month because we do a uh, some of the schools here do a two week uh, spring break so these kids are out of school for a month and to my knowledge they are not sending those kids to other schools I don't know if those kids are now under quarantine because they've been around that kid uh, you would think in theory that they would at least the kids in that class uh, and their teacher would be under self under self quarantine, but I don't know. The news did not say. But what is uh, cause for concern is they don't know how the kid got it, which is uh, distressing. Now, also along the same lines as this, I was reading an article about Missouri. They just had their first case uh, here a couple days ago, uh, first confirmed case. And the family was told by the uh, Department of Health that they needed to do a two week self quarantine. Well, their dad said, screw that, I'm going to do what I want. And took, because I guess it was uh, college age. Uh, kid who was confirmed with it and the dad decided to take another daughter to a school dance because he said screw this you're not going to tell me what I'm going to do and what I can't do and so they took he took the kid to a dance and they also took went to a pre-party uh, pre-dance party 
the horrible thing about this is that the kid's dance was a high school kid, but the pre-dance uh, party was also with little kids in elementary school. So now you have kids, again, ranging from five to, you know, high school age, you know, 17, 18, 19 years old, plus any adults that have now been exposed because this dad said, screw you, I'm going to do what I want to do. And this is what's bad with this virus. Yes, everybody's saying the, corona, the coronavirus isn't nearly as bad as the flu, blah, blah, blah. And the problem is when you get the flu, you don't self-quarantine yourself. You know, you might do it for a day or two. This you do that you have to do the whole time. This is causing widespread damage in terms of the economy and education systems and things like that. That's where this is so much worse than the flu. Also, we are lucky as a society that kids are beating this like it's nobody's business. There has not been, to my knowledge, a fatal case of it in a child. Now, over in Iran, uh, China, that kind of stuff, they may have. But from what I have read, if there have been any, it has been very, very, very few. That the vast, vast majority of all of the... Uh, Fatalities directly related to the coronavirus have been in either people who are already immunocompromised or elderly populations, uh, 65 and plus. So we are lucky uh, and blessed in the situation that our kids are able to beat this pretty well. But still, in the fact of no one knows what the long-term effects of this virus uh, and this strain are. Uh, I put a video out, uh, I think it was last week or something like that, that in China, they are looking at the possibility that once you are uh, quote-unquote cured of the virus, that if you are male, there is a good chance that you are now infertile because the receptors in one of the, because there's two strains going on right now, uh, to my knowledge, that one of the strains, it attacks uh, the testicles, the cells in the testicles. So you're telling me now I got a six-year-old kid who uh, got the coronavirus and now they're infertile for the rest of their life. You know, that I am not a doomsday person. I am not a chicken little, the sky is falling. But I am a prepper. And I like to prep for things. I plan for the worst and I hope for the best. And the worst case scenario is on par with you know the Spanish influenza of 1920 when you had 100 million people get killed. From what I have read, the uh, CDC is putting out that worst case scenarios here in the United States are calling for uh, 100 million to be infected and million plus uh, to for fatal cases. It is a concerning scenario. And let alone the economic uh, implications of it. Right now, the stock market is tanking because Russia and Saudi Arabia are having a uh, hissy fit over oil prices. Uh, when I uh, looked at it, the, you know they were hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of points down, and I'm sure it's just going to get worse throughout the day. Take care of yourselves, guys and girls and kids. And uh, wash your hands. Wash your hands.
Cough into your arm. Just take care of yourselves. Talk to you guys later.